Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com, and I'm taking off from that uh, spot near my house where I can get a good view of the local construction. And uh, a couple of days ago, my wife and I were coming back from town, and on the right side of the road in a small piece of property, it looked like they were clearing and uh, planning on, it looked like they were planning on uh, doing some construction of some kind. And so I thought, well, it's Friday. I think I'm going to, if they'll probably be working today, I think I'm going to uh, fly over there and see what's going, see if I can figure out anything and at least watch the tractors moving the dirt as they were the other day. So uh, this is, we're actually headed west here. And it's early in the morning, as you can see by the shadows. And uh, over there on the right <clears throat> are the tractors. Uh, and this is like about 6.30, 6.45, somewhere around there. And normally they're all working by this time. So uh, when turn around, and by the way, my Air 2S has this glitch that every once in a while it flips from follow me to FPV, which I don't choose. It does it by by its own self. I don't know if it's because it happens after an upgrade. I I don't know. Anyway, so that's the problem I'm having with this video. But there's the uh, there's all the uh, tractor equipment <clears throat> lined up, and then it began to dawn on me. Well, this is Memorial Day weekend, and so a lot of folks take Friday off and Monday off and make a four-day weekend out of it. Now, I have to be careful if I fly around here uh, later. If you noticed on the right there, there was a, a microwave antenna, <laughs> and it stuck up about the same height as I was. I'm flying at 150 feet. So I don't know if there's anybody working or sleeping down there, but that would be the the uh, <laughs> the management headquarters for whatever's going on here. And the sign just talks, the sign out there by the road just uh, mentions who to call about dust control because that's uh, something that they take care of around here. Well, so uh, I'll try to fit a story in here. This is not a long video, which I think most folks probably appreciate. Uh, I've been talking about all the shenanigans that... Uh, <laughs> that I did when I was in high school. Well, I finally graduated. Oh, I should probably tell you about the last day before. I think I've told that story, so. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, finally graduated. I wanted to go to Bible school. My folks, uh, I thought they had to help me pay my way. I found out a couple of years later that wasn't true. I could make it my own, on my own. But <clears throat> at that point in time, just graduating, I thought they had to help me, and they wouldn't help me uh, they didn't want to pay for me to go to Bible school. So uh, <laughs> I had a girlfriend who was, she was planning on going to Western Washington uh, uh, Teachers College. And uh, so I was talking to her one day and she said, well, I'm not going to go, but I do have the application. So I filled it out, sent it in, and they said, okay, we'll take you. So, <clears throat> uh, and my buddy that I hung around with in high school uh, he was kind of, well, I, he was, uh, he was a, a nice guy, but he was kind of like following me. Uh, I mean, I, when we'd go to Youth for Christ uh, on Saturday night, he always wanted to go with me, and that was okay. Um, but uh, anyway, so guess what? When I signed up to go to Western um, Washington Teachers College or whatever it was called back then, um, he signed up to go too, so he followed me there. And then uh, my folks were paying the way, so I got the. And you can see that there's not a people work, not a lot of people working in this uh, in this construction site, but there are a couple, as you'll see. Anyway, so uh, we shared a dorm room, and we, the dormitory was had a flat roof, and it was two story, and we were on the second story, and they had uh, a big window at one end of the room. And then the window had a, at, at uh, the right-hand end as you went into the room, had this large crank-out uh, window for ventilation and so forth. <clears throat> and so uh, 
that was <laughs> that was uh, not a good thing because me and my buddy, we were both athletically inclined. I mean, really, I could do, I could do, uh, I could easily do fifty chin ups, and uh, at one point in time, I did a hundred push ups, and so uh, we were in pretty good shape. And so uh, once we got all settled in and began to know the people around in the different rooms. Uh, uh, the guys right across the room, f- across the hallway from us, were always uh, making noise, and and uh, they drank a lot, and they were a, a lot of bother. And so uh, there goes a guy with paperwork in his hand, go check on something. He had to work Friday, I guess. So anyway, um, so that flat roof was a blessing and a curse because we could crank that window open, climb up uh, out the window grab a hold of the flat edge of the flat roof, pull ourselves up, throw our leg over, and we'd be on the roof. Now watch this uh, this semi down there. He needs to take a wider turn. You can see he's got plenty of room, but he doesn't do that. And so <clears throat> he's pulling around here, and watch what happens to the trailer. There's some kind of a sign there, and sure enough, he ran over it. Let's take a look at that one more time, shall we? That's kind of, you don't see that every day. <laughs> and I wanted to zoom in, but uh, the drone was flying forward, and it made it really difficult to, to try to zoom in when it's, because uh, by that time, it was out of the picture. Well, we'll look at it one more time, just in case you enjoy watching things like that. Oh, there I zoomed in. I forgot about this one. <laughs> All right, so he's coming around the corner, and there's that sign that's it's one of those signs that says do not enter i think and that's why that's the problem i had when i tried to zoom in i thought i deleted that but you know sometimes <laughs> sometimes i'm wrong not very often but uh, sometimes so anyway we were able to climb up on the roof and uh, go like if the guys across the hall happened to leave their window open and they usually did because it's good ventilation if they left their window open, then we could climb out our window, get on the roof, look down over the edge of the roof, and if their window was open, we could swing down, we could get into their room <laughs> and unlock the door from the inside and start doing all kinds of mischief. And I've told one story already on uh, on my videos uh, about <clears throat> one, of the, one of the things that we did. Maybe I'll just tell it again. Because it's kind of a fun story. But anyway, uh, this is, uh, we're coming back and uh, I, I have to go home. I, I mow the lawn for my son. And so I had to get home, get started, get breakfast and get started on that. So uh, anyway, it wasn't a very long video because there just wasn't anything to look at. So as we come down to land and uh, I'm standing there bringing it in. I want to thank you, as always, for watching my videos. Sorry about the poor quality of the FPV thing. Thank you for watching my videos, and God bless.